How we doing everybody? This is uh, Matt or aka Wagon. That's Obama. Uh, I'm going to go through my AT through hike gear list here today and uh, show you guys what I'm bringing with me in a couple of weeks to go uh, backpacking for a few months. So I'll start off with Obama. I'm bringing him. He's my buddy buddy. So he comes with me everywhere. So this right here is his food bowl folds up you know real nice he was just having snack but it folds up nice little pouch size that's his water bowl it's one of those collapsible water bowls yeah but that's also his right um, he's got a pair of what are they or a set of whatever you want to call it, Kurgo saddlebags for the doggy. These are nice. They're it's not exactly uh, lightweight, but he's not carrying much anyway. Just his food. Actually, I'm carrying his food. He's only going to be carrying his treats, which will be the main source of his diet anyhow. But but that's pretty much his gear. And then I got a 20 foot cable here that only weighs you know maybe like a pound or whatever. But uh, access weight. But I got to have stuff for him. So. That's his backpack, and food bowl, water bowl, leash, and then of course we got to bring a couple of momos. That's a raccoon head momo, and that's one of these little, one of these guys. He loves his momos. Loves his momos. Okay, so that's that. That's uh, the stuff I'm bringing for the dog. Oh, and then for the, well I'll get there. But he's also got a Z-Light uh, foam pad for his bed. But uh, this is my walking stick. Um, put a lot of work into this walking stick here. It's about five feet tall. It's pretty big, but that's all right. I don't mind it. It's got my duct tape rolled up here, some paracord rolled up right here. So if I need any paracord, I can just take it off the handle. I don't know if I need any duct tape, I can just take it off here. And then I'm sure you notice, check these out. Little eyelets. Alright. So not only is this my walking stick, but it's also a fishing pole. I'll get to the uh, reel. I'll show you once I get there. But the reel, I just slide in to the uh, paracord here. It just it's got a little peg that slides right up into the paracord, and then I can take one of you know another one of these, wrap it around. And now I've got me a handy dandy fishing pole. So that's cool. Most people bring a trekking pole. Um, I don't like the trekking pole only because I have the dog, so I gotta have one hand free. I mean, I'm gonna have him tied up to my belt anyway, but I like to have that one hand free just in case for emergency I gotta grab him or whatever. So, you know, I want I only bring the the walking stick trekking poles are great don't get me wrong i'm not saying that they're not worth it I, I you know if i didn't have the dog i would totally have a set of trekking poles but i got the dog so i get one stick and a dog um this is the msr four season um oh shit i can never remember, never remember the access there it is msr four season access two um Retail about 600 bucks. Fantastic tent. Um, I'll tell you what, I've been camping for decades. And this is the only tent I've ever slept in where there's just no moisture on the inside. I mean, even the condensation is bare minimal. Um, I was shocked and surprised. Very, very, very great performance from the MSR Four Season Access 2. Uh, highly recommend it. Um, yeah. And then right here is my uh, jet boil minimo, one liter jet boil stove. Goes on my fuel canister here. Bloop. I'm sure you've all seen those before. Here's my shoes. Oh, I love these, the oboes. These things are fantastic. Um, best shoe I've ever put on my foot. Really expensive. I think those cost me like 178, 180, somewhere around there. 
but uh, almost 200 bucks. But worth it, man. I, I, most I've ever paid for a shoe in my life, and totally worth it. All right, going into the MSR Four Season XS2. One complaint I have about this tent. It says it's a two-person. No, it's not. Me and the dog barely fit in here. But we'll start off with the doggy stuff. Um, he's got the Z-Lite Thermarest pad here. That's his bed. Um, I've got the Big Agnes 20-inch by 72-inch air pad. This thing is amazing. The dog jumps on it. I've tried to pop this, and it won't pop. So, I mean... Another shout out to uh, Big Agnes, like great job on their product here. Um, this thing is just, I can't believe the beating it's taken. Um, this is brand new, I just bought it today. Because of the excellent performance from the Big Agnes air mattress, I went for the Big Agnes air pillow. Um, I'm going to be trying this out for the first time tonight. I'll leave a comment on how I like it, but so far, I mean, it seems pretty decent. It's actually pretty pretty decent size. It's twice the size of my head, so I mean, that's pretty good. I think I'm going to let a little bit of air out of it and let it be a little bit softer because right now it's pretty firm, but I don't, I don't know if I like that. But looks cool. Going to try it out. It should be great. This is my spork. Just a little plastic spork. Only weighs a few grams. Um, or, yeah, it's uh, made out of, like, uh, I don't know, unbreakable... Rubbermaid, whatever, I don't know. But it's pretty cool because the fork has, I don't know if you can see it, but it's got a little bevel on the edge there, so you can use it as a knife. So that's kind of cool. So it's a fork, spoon, and knife all in one. Fantastic. A lot of people go for the titanium, but I like that. It's easy to clean. I ain't got to worry about metal, you know. Um, this is my pack here. We got the uh, Osprey Volt 75 liter. Uh, this pack is pretty cool. Um, I have no complaints about it. It's got uh, all the bells and whistles you'd expect from a backpack and backpack. Um, uh, let's see. And here we got, sorry for about the shitty camera show, but deal with it. This is the newer Sawyer Squeeze. I like this because it's got the flip top so you can chug it like a bottle of water. Bloop, bloop. That's nice. That came with it. That's fantastic. Um, I got a measuring cup in here that's for the dog and me if, you know, need be. But mainly for the dog and so I can measure out his food so he's not eating too much because I want him to, you know, regulate his food just like I got to. That's where my kitchen supplies go in there, because everything except for the Minimo. Um, let's see. First aid kit. Um, this has way more than what I need or what most people would carry. Um, I know it's too much. I don't want to hear any bullshit comments in the comment about how, oh, you're carrying too much stuff for your first aid kit. Me, 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 me. I have everything I need in here to take care of me and my dog. Keep in mind, I have the dog, so I gotta be able to take care of him and his first aid needs as, long, as well as mine. Um, clothes are in that bag there, which I'm not gonna pull out. A little bit of musher's wax for the doggy. Um, extra stuff sacks. Just in case I need them. I'll probably end up ditching those along the trailer, giving them away to people, one or the other. <coughs> Let's see this here. This is my electronic bag. I don't have much for electronics. Obviously, I'll be bringing my cell phone. Um, I have the Petzl headlamp, rechargeable battery, which is fantastic. So now I don't have to worry about um, buying triple A's. It does take triple A's but they also make a rechargeable USB battery. Neat. Come on, focus. Doesn't want to focus, but that's the Petzl. Focus. My camera lens is dirty or something. 
but USB port recharging right there. Mm -hmm. So that saves me money on uh, uh, AAA batteries. What looks interesting though is, and I'm going to have to try it out, is it looks as if this battery will fit in to my other headlamp as well. Most certainly does. Nope, it does not. I lied. Okay. But this is my secondary headlamp. I'm bringing two. Yes, I'm bringing two. Again, I have me and the dog. Um, I will have a headlamp on. He will have one around his neck, like a necklace or a collar. That's more so I can see where he is than it is for him to see where he's going. Um, I want to be able to keep tabs on him. You know what I mean? Um, one battery for my cell phone recharging. Two battery for my cell phone recharging. Both of them have the... Uh, Two ports, different. This one's Radio Shack. It's old school. Um, neither of them are very significant, but they will charge my cell phone one time each. So, I mean, it's I can charge my phone twice, 100% from zero if need be. So, um, this, most importantly, the Word of God. Um, usually, anytime I do any of my survival trips or hiking or outdoor adventures, I always bring a Bible with me. Well, last year when I did my uh, section hikes there of the uh, Appalachian Trail in New York and New Jersey, I found the hard way that less is more. So instead of bringing the entire Bible, which is very heavy, it's a couple pounds, it's like an eight-pound book, I'm going to bring the audio Bible, which is significantly lighter, and I can hear it instead of reading it, and... That way I got the Word of God with me, because praise Jesus, can I get an amen. Um, and then, last but not least, my sleeping bag. Um, let's see, I forget what it is. This is only the second time I've used it. Mm, come on now, give me a tag with something, something with a name on it. I don't know what kind of sleeping bag it is. It's a good one. I know that. It cost me a couple hundred bucks. I just don't remember. I want to say it's a North Face. But I'm not 100%. Oh, yeah. Here it is. <laughs> yep, North Face. Um, let's see. I don't know if you can see that or not. You can't because it's reflective. But it says... Comfort... Yep, you can see it now. Comfort, 33 degrees. Limit, whatever that means, 22 degrees. And then extreme, negative 9 degrees. But then right here it says 20 degrees. So I've got four different uh, uh, ratings here. Um, but basically what I get out of it is I'll be comfortable down to 33 degrees. And I can survive in negative 9 degrees is what I'm getting out of that. Um... Yeah, so I mean, comfort, 33, survivability, negative 9 is what I'm going with. If I'm wrong, well, it doesn't matter. really don't care. I don't think it's going to get down to negative 9, so I ain't worried about it. Um, this backpack is pretty sweet. It's got the air vent here, so it keep you from sweating. Um, I think that's everything. Oh, clothes are in that stuff sack there. It's a compression sack, which is real nice. Um, I'm not going to bring it all out, but for clothes, I've got... Three pairs of darn tough uh, wool socks, which are very nice. I got two long and one ankle cut. Um, I got a Patagonia puffy jacket. I got a North Face hoodie. I got Patagonia cutaway pants that will zip down in the shorts. Um, I got a Patagonia long sleeve shirt, Patagonia short sleeve shirt. Um, and then I got some Walmart cheap Russell shorts. These are real nice. They're like nine bucks and they're, they wick the water and sweat and everything away real fast, which is kind of impressive for $11 Walmart shorts. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much everything. Um, 
Less is more. Less is more. That's for sure. And then, you know, I'll have my recreational activities such as cigarettes and whatnot. Emphasis on the whatnot. Um, this is awesome. The Jetboil Mini Mo. Um, if you guys have never used a Jetboil, I highly recommend just shelling out the $100 or $90, $70, whatever it is. Like, I don't know. And just get it. Because these things are fantastic. Um, yeah, they're fantastic. So, definitely worth every penny. Um, yeah, that's it. So, that's all the gear we're bringing. Say hi to Obama. Hi, Obama. He's such a black son of a bitch. <laughs> Get it? Uh, that's funny. Alright, guys. Peace out.